Hello and welcome to this review of my Telegraph keyboard. I got this off eBay from Ukraine. The seller reports that part of the money goes to the Ukrainian army, so I'll put a link in the description below. Slava Ukraini! It's new old stock from the 1980s made out of steel and bakelite, which is an uncommon building material for keyboards, and it comes in this really cool old cardboard box. But the main reason I wanted to show it to you is because it's actually greatly ahead of its time. Modern gaming keyboards have evolved into a device for the most optimal and competitive input, but this took it to a whole new level way before Razer or Corsair were even a thing. This keyboard boasts a staggering 1% form factor, leaving more room for your mouse than ever before. I tried it out and I was actually amazed at how quickly I was able to pwn noobs in CSGO with this device. There was just so much room for my mouse, they didn't stand a chance. It comes with a cool little mechanism, it uses a spring-loaded seesaw thing and two contact points, so it looks like it registers both make and break actions twofold, perhaps as double redundancy or something. It's a bit stiff and very short throw, but it's not uncomfortable to use actually. The keycap is presumably also made out of Bakelite with flathead mount, and it appears to be of unprecedented thickness. The typing sound is very tinny, it's almost like Alps plate spring switches. It was clearly made with portability in mind because it appears to be a Bluetooth keyboard and it's quite compact at only 13 by 7.5 centimeters in size, although it is rather tall for a keyboard at roughly 7 centimeters, or in Imperial units. It's also very ergonomic because it uses a non-QWERTY layout, specifically it uses Morse code. Furthermore, just like touch typing, it gives you RSI, so if that doesn't show you its ergo credentials, I don't know what will. The biggest differences between this thing and other ergonomic keyboards are that this is much easier and faster to operate, more intuitive, and it requires less training. So this is actually a vast improvement over other ergonomic keyboard options. And I tell you what, I bet I can prove it to you. I'm going to pit myself against my former self while I was using the pinnacle of ergonomic keyboards, the only one in existence with even fewer keys than this telegraph machine, the Orbitouch, aka the breastboard, aka the titty oscillator, which is a 0% form factor keyboard. I'm going to type the same sentence I did there using the telegraph keyboard and see if I can beat my Orbitouch time, even though I had a few days training on that one and never trained on this one or on Morse code before. I printed out a Morse code sheet to help me obviously, but professional Morse code operators are fairly rapid and considering how god awful this thing and most other ergo stuff is, I give myself a decent chance. Also, I do already know four Morse code letters off the top of my head, S and O because I know how to Morse and SOS, and M and I because as I found out recently, the Mission Impossible theme song is set to the beat of MI in Morse code. That said, I've not actually trained on this telegraph keyboard or any further in Morse code before, so the Orbitouch should technically be at a considerable advantage. That's it for this review. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and following is a typing demonstration of me typing on this keyboard.